Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> British royalist Forget Prince Harry was the most hardworking of all the young royals, pulling the weight when William and Kate were part-time and infamously work shy. Whatever privilege he had, he fully upheld his side of the bargain. Any debt has been settled, he owes you nothing. They must have said something about uh, Harry, <laughs> probably because of the book, for this street to come out. Okay, and his wife worked without pay throughout her time in Britain. She was told she wasn't a working boy. Mm -hmm. That's the thing I've said before where Harry and Meghan have a mindset or whatever it is that they thought for being there in the royal family. But the royal family had a different perspective of them. But they never said what was the view of Harry and Meghan. And at the same time, they let Harry and Meghan do the work, especially Meghan. I'm talking mostly about Meghan. Okay, Harry brought Megan in as a working boy. Okay, his wife to be, you know, partner with them and help him with the cause. They said that the uh, engagement that the combination of the two of you, your different backgrounds, that you together represent something new for the royal family. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's something new. I think it's, um, you know, it's a for me, it's a an added member of the family. It's a it's a it's another another team player as part of the the bigger team. And an added member of the family. It's a, it's a, it's another, another team player as part of the, the bigger team. And you know, for all of us, all we want to do is be able to carry out um, the right engagements, carry out our work. For all of us, all we want to do is be able to carry out um, the right engagements, carry out our work, and try and encourage others and the younger generation to be able to see the, the world in the, in the correct sense, rather than um, perhaps being dis having a, a distorted view. Okay, so this is what Harry and Meghan thought 
there will be working royals. Harry was already working royal. The institution already accept Harry as working royal. That was settled. But when Harry brought Meghan in, an added member of the family, it's a, it's, a, it's another another team player as part of the, the bigger team, and to be his partner, and she will become a working royal. So he thought Harry and Meghan thought Meghan was a working royal. As soon as they married, they do all of the stuff. You see the cookbook, the, uh, what is it, smart works and all of that. And everything else that they've been doing. Megan did. But the royal family, the institution, never really consider her as a working royal. Okay? And this is where, when she talked to them about the mental health, uh, what else, any issues she has, they ignore her because they didn't consider her as a working royal. But at the same time, they allow her to do the work okay they allow her to do the work and then don't pay her you see how abusive is that and manipulated it there all right so when megan realized all of this like f this i could do better look at what they've been doing since they left and then they piss at it they're upset because they making their own way they didn't think that they could be doing and what did they expect from megan megan was a millionaire coming into the family and then they think that she cannot be uh, more than that okay his hard work only matters if he can be exploited by the crown mm -hmm. he never did absolutely nothing very well said okay they keep forgetting about that word 100 percent fact okay true that okay let's go to the next tweet the crown is abusive lot uh, you see what they've done around the world okay that cover of prince william's milestone 40th birthday always made me feel embarrassed for him okay, how are you the future king of england and celebrating your 40th your own media dog have to refer to you as the other brother you are not even the main character in the kingdom <laughs> the firm problem is that the spare is still the main character there's that i remember did i cover this that picture looked familiar i think i covered uh, that in a way all right there's me here okay if they all sat and ate their food none of these will matter they knew their closet were dirty and there were no major accomplishment yet they want to be front and center spotlight bring out everything including the imperfection i don't know what they expected perhaps control is out of reach yeah because they're trying to control everything but they try to control the narrative, you name it. But people are seeing it for what it is. And there's me saying, c'est la vie. Well, every count of his 40th birthday was his anger at his brother. They were right to call him other brother. His people must secretly dislike him. <laughs> Let's see, got one to top that. Remember the Daily Fell a few weeks ago? What is that? Okay, this is great. How are you going to forget the name of the future king if England okay of england they made a typo so funny you've never forget prince harry's name <laughs> ever fell okay lol i remember this one their own media cannot even remember the air name all right so let's see here prince harry and kate middleton record bbc radio one show for well mental health day okay so they even mentioned the other one there okay cali has been really good too for harry yeah, that's a different language. Unfortunately, he has his father's moral compass or lack thereof. And the level of Photoshop on Toby, even <laughs> faking some hair. <laughs> oh, yes, the other brother. Uh, you can see his hair there. Well, the side, he has that. But we can't see the top one, so I don't know. Next tweet. Who is it Harry? Whose hair are they talking about? Harry's missing some hair, but there's still some stuff that covers it, though. Next tweet. Let's see here. Kate Middleton didn't know how to fill her days when she was William's girlfriend. Queen Camilla was always famously lazy. Quote, she tried her best to do nothing during the day. <laughs> End quote. She tried her best to do nothing. No wonder they resent Prince Harry for marrying an accomplished and hardworking woman. Let's see here. The fact is, however, that without any defined role or any proper guidance from Clarence House or what is expected of her while he is away, Kate is left to make her own decision about how to fill her days, which are scarcely arduous. Her job, remember, 
is helping compile and editing catalogs for her parents' online party accessory company, Party Pieces. Meanwhile, one woman said to be dismayed by this week's turn of event is the Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla 61, is famously lazy. <laughs> is famously lazy and her official diary was far more empty pages than most other members of the royal family <laughs> well she works hard she works hard to keep charles she works hard but god she is definitely a baggage for you who knows what else she did to keep charles i'm just gonna leave it as that Okay, what followed was a trip to New York, including a reception where Camilla met high society movers and journalists. And the thing is that the nonsense that they do, and, and then they're not ashamed to show their faces on other people. But then again, but then again, that's where I contra contradict myself. The same people they are, you know, meeting, they be doing the same thing. So yeah, they're in good company. So there's no shame anywhere. But people with good conscience, the... Uh, more see the stupidity in those people okay the former head of charles charities in the u.s robert higdon is quoted as saying of camilla quote for her to get up in the morning and survive until nightfall <laughs> oh my god i didn't that's a, this this joke was sneaking there oh my for her to get up in the morning and survive until nightfall is a major effort. <laughs> she was reported to be the laziest woman to have been born in England in the 20th century <laughs> by another source. Oh my God, this is hilarious. Higdon adds, quote, it was even harder for her to get out of bed. She tried her best to do nothing during the day. It was horrible, a disaster. <laughs> now you see, you see why certain people had to go where she had to interfere. What is it? She married uh, her, her, her husband, her first husband, and then at the same time wanted to keep paying on to Charles. So she knows how to play the game. Um, she knows she was lazy, but yet, hey, she did what she had to do, but unfortunately, a lot of people had to go down in order for her to stay on top. God, she is definitely a baggage for you. How Meghan Markle became an advocate for women's rights at the age of 11. There's that. That was in the December 2017. Accomplished actress and humanitarian Meghan Markle to marry Prince Harry. There's that. All right, 2017. Okay. Every time people talk about KKK laziness, I always mention how they must forget her stepmother-in-law. The woman is lazy, lazy, lazy daisy looking wrinkle-free thanks to Bardox. Okay, both taxpayers funded had all the staff does job for them. Hey, you guys allowed it. I don't know why I should complain for. I'm complaining about my only problem is what they did to Diana and what they did to Megan. And what they still continue doing to Megan. But in terms of you giving them the tax dollars, you see the issues, you see the problem, you see what's going on, and to the everyday people of the UK. But you guys are more than happy to do that and defend them. So what can I say? Uh, they're not taking my money. Everybody deserves what they got, I guess. In my humble opinion. Okay, the laziest woman to be born in England in the 20th century. <laughs> Sound on brand. Just astounding that these two adult women won't get out of bed without special instruction or salty as hell about someone as independent as Megan. Hey, they wanted Megan to do that and at the same time abuse her on top of it. Megan was like, nope, that's not gonna happen. Okay, hard working. You kidding? Are you? Okay, being a D-lister is not hard. I can name 30 better black female actors than her. All right, whatever. But guess what? Her money, she made tons of money. But guess, And at the same time, she didn't have to sell her body. Look at the video, the A-list, not the A-list actor. Nah, I, I did a video about that. And a lot of clips that I put, YouTube made me remove them. And I think when I have uh, a different platform, I'll upload all of them and put them in a way where uh, nothing is cut. Okay, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to put, uh, create Patreon, and I never did. I don't know. Okay, hardworking kid. Okay, that's that. At the same time, 
the creator of the series, the Quran, exposed the first wife of our king, the hater of pen, <laughs> hater of pens, to the one at whom he could yell and cry out for pity for Camilla. Okay, try harder. You need more than this load of rubbish. Talk about clutchy of straws. Okay, I don't understand this. Okay, was your job appear to be trolling, not just a different LOL. Okay, I don't know anything what they're meaning by that, but they're trying to uplift one and put the other down. Shame. Next tweet. Kate Middleton stressed an anxious and new life after a very difficult time, say expert Mirror Online. Poor Duchess of Doolittle is stressed and anxious. I wonder why. There's the rules. Adelaide Mansion is not a cottage. In fact, it consists of two mansions, more lies. Okay, so this was the narrative. Now that they're moving it in, oh, I don't know if they're moving to, is it an estate near Fragmore or something? And I think I was saying that they wanted to, I'm not sure. I'm just saying, repeating something that I said in another video where they were moving close to Fragmore. And one of the things that I said is that maybe perhaps they want to check on Harry and Megan when they come in so they could, you know, pass on info. That's one thing that I say about that. She's the villain in her own story. She earned her despair. <laughs> I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. <laughs> I'm supposed to feel... <laughs> I don't know. The squad is be finding those uh, clips. These are examples of what driving Kitty Puss to anxiety and stressy. The Sussexes are thriving, successful, and still have date nights. Mm-hmm. There's this. All right, these are their stuff with arch types and things like that. Number one, there they are. Where is it? I think this is in the cover of the uh, Archwell website. And that was during the One World uh, by Missing Harriman. All right, there's her doing her uh, talk. And I think Harry had a uh, one too. This is their date night. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, how long has it been since her last engagement? And I believe that was a letter. She has been off for three weeks. How can she possibly be stressed? Eh? That's her, like she said, uh, that's their own doing. Okay, um, let's see here. She was away most of the summer until the Queen's funeral. Something is cooking. They know I'm in all the media. So do Meghan and Harry, perhaps that is why all are getting panicking now. They do not know what is in Harry's book. Ingrid Seward said what she had to say below for a reason. Let's see here. What did she say? Okay. If William misbehaves, Kate will turn a blind eye. She wants, uh, she wants this marriage more than anything. Okay. So, in other words, maybe there's a divorce in there. Okay. 12 million pound worth of change. Okay, what is that? This is misleading nonsense. The former staff member did not make the bullying allegation. Jason Kanoff did. Okay, I spoke about this. Oh, Valentine Law. When was that? Day? 2021. What the hell? He was telling the truth here. Thank you for clarifying. Okay, this is misleading nonsense. The former staff members did not make the bullying allegation. Jason Kanoff did. Okay, the squad knew about this, but I didn't know he ever really confirmed that. Very interesting. Okay, King Charles seems to know what he's doing by displaying a wedding picture of Prince Harry and Meghan. Let him not fool you. Had he wanted to really do something, he would have spoken up by now against the attack, racism, and harassment. Of course. Yeah, they're trying to do symbolism, pictures, and all of that, but guess what? Their reality still remain the same. They doing what they still want to do, what whatever they want to do, but they saying what people wants to hear. Okay, hearing and doing two different things. All right. I'm sorry we can only come and give words and comfort, but we we are thinking about you the whole time and we really care about what's going on. So sometimes it's that's more than financial. Yeah. Well, if we can give you a little smile here and there, that's important. So. You know. <laughs> Well, if we can give you a little smile here and there, that's important, so, you know. Let's see here. If they really wanted to slag off the royal family, they will slag off the royal family. And you know what I'm talking about, Crystal. There's a lot of sitting duck there, Dennis. Uh-uh-uh. What else are they saying? Okay. 
UK journalists free yourselves. Okay, my God, I can't wait until the papers can talk about Prince William freely. Uh-uh-uh, they know what's going on. Okay, now that his pedo brother has been sidelined, Charlie is doing his utmost to ensure his mom will be the last monarchy. Hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> his behavior is showing that. Okay, I'm failing to understand what she has to be stressed about other than she suddenly has to do more and she's rather be at home. If this was Megan, she'd be crucified. But because it's Kate, people are making up excuses to try to pull on our heartstrings. Not happening with me. She's lazy. All right, so there's more. Okay, let's read what's on the screen here. Okay, imagine Princess Diana felt stress from her workload also, but she forged ahead. Kate can do the same. Hey, that's why. All right, Diana was only 20 when she became a uh, princess of Well. When she came on the scene, the royal family was not popular. She championed many groundbreaking charitable causes, not even attempt by anyone else. She had no support from her husband, nor his family. In fact, they were all jealous of her. Yeah, and then she even said things where after she come from an engagement, nobody's, you know, cheering her up, nothing. And that comment is right. They even jealous of her. Meanwhile, they forget where they were before she came in. Oh my God, these people are so ungrateful. So ungrateful. Let's read this. She wasted 10 years of her youth waiting for William to be sure that no aristocratic girl wanted the job. He even publicly broke up with her twice just to make sure that the Arisos knew he was available. None came. She wasted an elite education and never worked a day in her entire life, making history as the first royal spouse to have never used the what's NI, NI number. She sat around being humiliated by William's friend who together with Daddy was a DM uh, bemoaned her family's lowly social status mm -mm -mm. this is the thing with these people love to put other people down but anyway she was supposed to have been a phase during uni only but she moved to london after graduating to sit in her mother's chelsea flat waiting for him waiting for him while he developed his military then flight career she earned her weighty title that's for sure she has done nothing achieved nothing said nothing but give birth to her to <laughs> give birth to the heir and two spares she's loved now by everyone because they hate megan <laughs> that's pretty much that okay she's being lauded as the person who will save the monarchy how answer on a postcard please <laughs> how is she gonna save the monarchy Let's see here, Prince William and Kate Middleton slammed for being lazy royals, lazy snob. They only, they only started doing copying things after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle married. Uh, uh, uh. The squad call it out, so. Okay, there's that. Okay, I can't read most of this. Some of it is black, so. There's that you could pause and read. All right, let's move on to the next one. I'm literally getting tired. It's 4.44 a.m. Been two hours. Oops. All right. It took Prince Harry's book for you to make a donation to one of Prince William's charities. That's just so incredibly sad. Anyway, Harry's influence is unmatched. All right. So he retweeted that I'm donating the cost of Harry's book to one of Prince William charities. I don't want to waste my money on a self-righteous brat who betray his family. They already know what's in the book. What? That's good. All right, LOL. Imagine someone who you don't like is motivation to donate to a charity. Imagine being this invested that you have to make an announcement on Twitter or MG what a flex clown. Okay, all those folks saying good idea have no intention of giving a dime. Anti okay, anti fans try to fundraise once and everyone had excuses <laughs> for why they couldn't give the supporters of reflection of their faves talk big games be keen to start something then never talk about it again okay he or she does not even realize they just fell under heavy spell and is doing what they normally will not do because of him is any one of william charities is set up to take donation <laughs> and she is only threatened to donate the cost of one book truly pathetic okay meanwhile anyone with me Okay, is, okay, if someone set up a crowdfund using PayPal to donate copies of Spare to people who really want a copy, 
but can't afford the price i pledge the cost of one book uh, i don't know just buy the damn book yourself to whoever you want because people who's doing this kind of things you know there's a scam in between uh let's i think i just messed up something here next tweet all right there's netflix netflix execs believe king charles friend or coordinate attack on the crown and that's me responded it's like like <laughs> obviously princess diana told us about her experience with these mouthpieces who did you think doing these attacks do you really believe that a campaign was being waged against you? yes i did absolutely yeah why mm i was a separated wife of the prince of wales i was a problem full stop never happened before what do we do with her can't we pack her off to somewhere quietly rather than campaign against mm. her she won't go quietly that's the problem i'll fight till the end okay not to worry we shall be on hand to provide the crown receipt diana will not be silenced they should have just left her younger son and biracial daughter-in-law and peace all right so that's two minutes and 20 seconds Stubbs. Let's see. I walk into the house and stick my hand out to come up the first time. I think she got over that. We were all upstairs and I was chatting around. I suddenly noticed that there was no Camilla and no Charles upstairs. So I do. I mean, this is immediately was my first thought. You know, th this this could be a problem. So this disturbs me. So I, I make my way to go downstairs again. I know what I'm going to confront myself with. Try and stop me from going downstairs. Then I don't go down there. I just go and find my husband. I go downstairs. And there's a very happy little threesome going on downstairs. Camilla, Charles, and some other man who I don't even know. Chatting away. So I thought, right, this is your moment. So I went and sat down, joined in the conversation as though we were best friends. You know, th this this could be a problem. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I'm thinking as I was listening to that? When, at what point did, you know, from the time he was all nice to her, you know, asked her to marry and put a front that he loved her, whatever. Where was the moment where that changed? When did that change from being so, uh, I don't know, like a kind of a monster to her? But anyway, let's see. And I said, uh, Come on, I'd love to have a word with you if possible. And she looked really uncomfortable, put her head down. She said, Oh, yes, fine. And I said to the two men, Okay, boys, we just have a quick word, Camilla. And uh, I'll be up in a minute. See, and this is the thing Princess Diana fought for her husband. She tried everything to have her husband back. But these people, not only everyone around her, teamed up with Charles. Okay, and Camilla to make it seem like she's the one who's crazy. She went to the queen and asked the queen do something about it because she wants her husband back. Diana had hoped to get support from the queen. She was sorely disappointed. According to the princess, the queen turned a cold shoulder to her appeal for help. The princess described an emotional scene inside the walls of Buckingham Palace. And I'm sobbing and I said, what do I do? I'm coming to you, what do I do? And she said, I don't know what you should do. And that was it. That was hell. Uh, she did everything. I don't know if people failed to see that. She did everything. And then I guess her last result was put everything out. Let people know this is what I've been doing. Wherever there is something to record something about her situation, she put it out there because she did try. I think she really did try to have her husband back. But when everybody around you is against you your husband never really liked you from the beginning and then you have the other woman grabbing him i mean if the other woman was to stay away don't give him access to her maybe charles would have go back uh, it takes two i'm not blaming only one it takes two the other woman is as much as fault as a uh, uh, um as charles all right but princess diana try her best she try her best and they thought that young woman they will take advantage of. I was portrayed in the media at that time, if I remember rightly, as someone, because I hadn't passed any O-levels and taken any A-levels, I was stupid. And I made the grave mistake once of saying to a child I was thick as a plank in order to ease the child's nervousness, which it did. But it, that headline went all around the world. 
And I rather regret saying it. But let's continue. I shot upstairs like chickens with their heads. And I could feel upstairs all hell breaking loose. What was she going to do? Mm -mm -mm. So I said, come on, let's sit down. So we sat down. And I was terrified of her. And I said, come on, I'd just like to know that I know exactly what's going on. And she said, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. And I said, I know what's going on between you and Charles. And I just want you to know that. Just leave the guy. And she said to me, very interesting, she said to me, you've got everything you've ever wanted. All the men in the world fall in love with you. You've got two beautiful children, what more do you want? And I didn't believe what she said anyway. Wow. She said, I want my husband. There it is. She fought for her husband. Yes. She wants her husband. Oh my God. She tried, she tried, she tried. Wow. You have two beautiful children, whatever. This is the thing here. Those people. They brought Princess Diana for the firm. There was no feeling, nothing attached to it. This is sad. She's like, I want my husband. If they had told her from the get-go the truth, she would either say yes or no, I'm not going with it. But they never told her the truth. That they only wanted her to produce for the firm. There was no feeling behind uh, nothing with between Charles and Princess Diana. There was feeling from Princess Diana for Charles, but it wasn't returned. All right, let's continue. And she said, well, and she looked down the whole time. I said to her, I'm sorry I'm in the way. I obviously am in the way. And it must be hell for both of you. But I didn't know what's going on, don't you? Know what I'm doing? Wow, that's the thing. They thought they could manipulate. There was uh, some articles that I was reading. I think I shared with you in one of the videos where Charles and Camilla's plan was to manipulate Princess Diana because they thought she was young. They could manipulate her. But Prince they got a fight of their lives. They got a fight of their lives. Uh uh uh. They thought they could outsmart Princess Diana. In the car, there, but my husband was over me like a bad rash. I cried like I've never cried before. It was anger. It was seven years of pent up anger. Wow. Cried, cried, cried. That's sad. I didn't see it that night. And the next morning I woke up. Wow. And she felt different. That's why he said the next morning she got up and she felt different. She got that off her back. And now she realized she confronted whoever was trying to manipulate her. That's sad. In so many levels. Okay, Netflix need not worry. No sleep loss. They did this about Megan's podcast and it has still been a smash hit in the UK. Okay, the British royal family is giving Netflix and the crown a boatload of free publicity. Hell yep. The whole world can see this. Netflix must never give in. Artistic integrity is the fundamental right of artists and democratic countries unless, of course, we are no living in dictatorship by regal decree. Okay, we've been new. Of course they are. One anonymous comment under a, a deadline piece suggests Empress Judy was upset because she didn't land the Queen's mother role. Oh, is it that? Okay. It's, a, I know, something Dane, I think it is. It's unlikely, but extremely funny if there's any truth in it. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter as they will have zero impact on how the world will receive that season and the following one. K. Charles has always been petty. He has small man syndrome. <laughs> small man syndrome. He cannot even dress himself. Oh my God. Okay, how is it going? Okay, they don't need to advertise the show. The new monarchy is taking care of the aspect for them. Yep. Okay, they'll just end up creating a Streisand effect. Why are they paying him any mind? Why? Okay, what they should pay attention is viewers. Okay, and we find timers are ready for the coming season. And as I'm reading this, what I'm thinking is that they probably put this out. Uh, what is it? Uh, Netflix probably put it out to keep the momentum going. To keep the momentum going to talk about the crown. Isn't it coming? What is it? Is it November or December? Uh, I forgot when it's coming. So it's about to come. A lot of <laughs> gossip will be coming up. Then after that, in January, we're going to have Harry's book. Oh my goodness. We only have December to just chill and then enjoy the family, Christmas and all that. And then come January, bam, back to gossip again. 
Okay, I'm almost done. This was kind of funny. This is Miss Anne Harriman who tweeted that. Dad, what is wrong with you? Look at the face and even the dog. <laughs> Look at her little face. That is so cute. <laughs> Getting ready for Halloween. Her face is so cute. Look at Oh, I just realized her shirt, her clothes is that little kitty. That was funny. Uh, that's me responding, laughing my ass off. Yeah, what is wrong with you? Okay, LOL, OMG, people just laughing. Even the dog has questions. <laughs> Baby and puppy, we love you, but not today, say and There's that. All right, so that's people just joking around. Let's do the prayer. The prayer is from the squad. Okay. Again, the video one had the squad prayers as well. There's this. Pray for has Meg, Archie, and Lily. Lord, thank you for a new day. Please protect, guide, and bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Little Bad Diana. May they be guarded by your angel and inspired by your spirit. Expose and defeat their enemies. Keep their supporters blessed and safe. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so this is the prayer here. Okay, Psalm 91, 10 to 12. No harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. All right. So that's it. And there's the squad. Amen. I love how the body language is mirror each other. Even when they're not touching, they're connected and in sync. Hear our prayer, Lord. Amen. Let's look at the picture again. That is true. That is true. All right, so that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. And uh, that's it. I think I've kept you guys up to date. Now, I need to edit. And I think I have a video from, what, two days ago? I need to edit. So who knows when I'm going to get to this. But at least I wanted the recording to get because... Where's it? Once the podcast on Tuesday come, gonna be busy. A lot of uh, tweets gonna come. All right, so that's it. Thank you for your support and uh, thank you. For me, it's a, an added member of the family. It's, a, it's, a, it's another, another team player as part of the, the bigger team. And you know, for all of us, all we want to do is be able to carry out um, the right engagements, carry out our work, and try and encourage others and the younger generation to be able to see the, the world in the, in the correct sense, rather than um, perhaps being dis having a, a distorted view.